Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. That's me. I'm here today to talk all things Infoboxes in Google Earth projects. So an Infobox pairs with any feature. So let's go to one right now. And you'll notice this image I have and some text. So if I edit this, this is the default. It's a small info box and it has that white background. Now let's look at another feature where I have used a large info box. So when I click preview presentation, this is just some text I copied from Wikipedia, but it's a black background and you see that in the edge, you still have to scroll, but watch what happens when I do small info box for the same text. So we'll click preview presentation. And now there's even more scrolling and the image gets hidden. So for lots of text, I don't like the small info box. There's one other option you have, and that is no info box. I don't recommend doing that. It's just gets rid of all that information. Why would you want to do that? I don't even know why that is an option. But typically for small bits of text, go with the small info box. For larger text, go with the larger info box. So there's the large info box there. If I go motion sickness warning back here, small, that is a small info box. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.